I wonder if you remember these things. Do you remember I showed you these? Yes. For example, that one on the right is, uh, well, just, just have a look at my grid squares, okay? This is two and that's five. So this rectangle over here is a way of representing 10, right? It's just one way of visualizing it, okay? There's lots of ways to visualize. This is one of them. If you have a look on the left, do you remember this was my argument for why A plus B, in brackets, I'll put brackets, times A plus B, which of course is just A plus B all squared. This was my reason for arguing why it's not just A squared plus B squared. From the diagram, how would you argue that it's not just A squared plus B squared? What would you say? Where, where is the A squared? It's, it's this guy over here. Right? And where's the B squared? It's this guy over here. You can tell because they're squares. right? And what I'm missing is that this is AB, isn't it? And you've got another AB. So that's why there's that 2AB hanging out there in the middle. Okay? Now I want to call your mind back to this because this is going to be my instrument for explaining this process over here. So pick up your pencil now, if you've got one. Pen will do if you've got no alternative. But I want to return to this. This was the first thing we were trying to factorize before. x squared plus 5x plus 6. I want to draw this and see what's going on. Okay. I'd love you to draw it with me. You've got grid squares as well. So here's how I'm going to try and visualize it. Keeping in mind that x is a variable. It's a pronumeral. It really could be anything, but I can't I can't draw anything on the page, so I'm just going to pick a length. So I'm just going to make this, uh, let's make this something like 7 units high. Okay. Now, I've made it look like it's 7 units, but I'm going to call this x. So you really could draw it as big or as small as you like, but this will be a good size. We'll be able to fit everything else on our diagram if it's about 7 high. Okay. So if that's x, then to make x squared... I'm going to draw a square that has that as one of the sides. So I've drawn that as a side. Uh, I guess I'll draw one across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like so. If that's x as well, I can complete this shape. And this shape is a way of representing x squared. Are you, are you happy with that? Is it okay, Adi? All right. Now, if that's x squared, I want to think about how am I going to represent the rest of this expression up there, the rest of this quadratic expression? Well, the next term is 5x. 5x. 5 times x. So I have lots of ways I could do this, but I think a common sense way <coughs> is to draw another line that is x high. What will I attach it to to make a rectangle that's 5x? Yeah, I'll go 5 across. Something like that. So this rect rectangle is a representation of 5x. There's x squared, there's 5x. The last thing I need is 6. Now, 6 doesn't look like it has to be a rectangle. But again, if I want to, I can represent it as 1. Because 6 is 6 times 1, isn't it? 6 is 6 times 1. So therefore, I'm just going to draw uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1. Just to make it clear, I'm just going to make these units a little obvious. So this guy over on the right, sorry, I hope you can see around my big head. That guy's six, okay? So you've just drawn x squared plus five x plus six. Okay, now here comes the key. We were thinking of two numbers. We wanted to break apart five into like two numbers that added up to five, like one and four or zero and five or whatever, okay? We chose two and three. Let me show you why we chose 2 and 3. If 5 adds up, sorry, 2 and 3 add up to 5. The reason why that's useful is because I can write it like this. Let me move up a little bit. Do you agree that this is still x squared plus 5x plus 6? I've just sort of split it apart into those numbers that you chose. Okay? So if that's the case, how would I draw this? Okay, well, have a look. We've got two parts that are the same. I apologize that you can't do this, but you guys will be able to draw the rest of it a bit quicker than I can anyway. So, you can see, let's get rid of this guy over here. 
There's my x squared and there's my 6. So far, so good. But instead of 5x, I've broken it into 2. So what would that look like? Well, I started drawing 5x by drawing this guy, which was x high. So how will I draw 2x instead of 5x? I'll just go 2 across. You're getting the hang of it. That guy there is 2x. What about 3x? Okay, so I'm going to go 3 across. Uh, let me move this guy. I shuffle him over a little bit so I have some more space. Okay, you can draw this too. Okay, now, we've been playing some games with these shapes before, right? Like a tangram, you can shuffle them around, you can make new things, you can visualize, okay? Remember where I'm headed. You actually know the answer to this question already. I'm trying to head towards not a sum, but a product. Something times something else. In other words, I'm trying to make a rectangle out of this. One rectangle, oh, I went to the answer. Whoops, that was unintentional. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I get there. Hold on a second, let me add, I need some space. There we go, okay. Here we go. So I'm trying to make one rectangle out of all of these. It's not that hard to do. Remember how they're both, well, one, two, three, they're all X high? That means I can do this. Can you, can you draw that? See, see this thing over here? This new rectangle. Can you draw that for me? Okay. You just factorized it. That's what factorizing means. It's putting together these objects. Have a look at this new object on the left. It's x high. How wide is it? Look carefully. How wide is it? It's x and then it's two more. Isn't it? Oops, sorry. It's x plus two, right? So this rectangle is x outside of x plus two. But I'm not done yet. I've got this guy as well. Where am I going to put him? Where will he fit? Now, I can just move him like that. I can do that, okay? But if I do that, I'm kind of stuck. You see the six on the end? He's got nowhere to go, nowhere to fit. So instead of just shuffling him over to the left, watch carefully, eyes up. I'm going to move him over here. Do you see I can do that? Do you see why I can do that? Why can I just turn it? Because it's X high, now it's X wide. Right, do you see that? Do you see it? So now that means, what can I do with this guy over here? This six, do you see why it fits? And why the two numbers we had to think of had to multiply to give Whoa. six. Oh. Oh. Do you see it? Two times three, right? Now, just, just think, just rewind a little bit. Suppose, uh, let's, let's do this again. Suppose I, no, that's not what I want. Suppose I chose the wrong pair of numbers. Um, two and three aren't the only numbers you can choose, right? So I'm gonna break apart this five X. I'm gonna break it apart instead into one X, that's 1x, isn't it? And here's 4x. It's still the same expression. Do you agree? It's still equal. But look what happens when I try. When I try to put this guy, shift him over like that, I can still twist this guy around and fit him where he belongs. But now look. See that gap I've got? See this guy over here? Oops, sorry. See this guy over here? It doesn't fit the 6 that I've got. Unlike this one, it's just right. So this is why two and three are perfect and one and four are not. This is why you're trying to get them to add up to five because five is your building block. This is the thing you're cutting up. You can cut into two and three or one and four or whatever you like. Why do they need to multiply? Can you tell me again? What's the shape reason? Why? It's because you're trying to fill in over here a rectangle that will fit just nicely. If it doesn't fit just nicely, you're kind of stuck. You're like, uh, sorry, six, you're just going to have to hang out on the end there. It's not factorized. Do you see what I mean? So, when you're searching for this pair of numbers, you're adding them up because this shape is what you're dissecting. Right? This is where you're cutting up. You're multiplying to give that number on the end because you're trying to do this, this thing here. 
See that? If they don't multiply, you can't make a nice rectangle. And that's why you're searching. Okay?